All right, so here I go going, you know what? Um, just whatever, I don't care. He's like, well, if you don't have any weapons, then you shouldn't mind that we're searching your bag. And I'm like, I don't have anything to hide, what the fuck? All right, so meanwhile, like two seconds later, I'm like, oh fuck, I do have a weapon in my purse. <gasps> Uh-oh. This week's message to my haters is about shame. Ah, hmm. <sighs> I know it so well. All right, so as I was saying, uh-oh, spaghetti -o. I'm dealing with, I love what I rhyme. I did that this morning earlier with something else. And I was like, girl, rhyming is in your head. It's the poetry thing. All right, meanwhile, listen. All right, here's what happened. Mm. I ain't gonna believe me. Mm. All right, so I'm like, wait a minute. You called security after me just because I arrived? I literally just walked in the door, all right, at this particular hospital. Well, the name shall remain anonymous right now. Hmm. So they call security. What the fuck? I did nothing. But on the contrary, so, um, although I did nothing, basically, I believe the hospital, the hospital did commit negligence, which law. I happen to um, have photo evidence of. I really looked Stay into tuned. it, but I do know that the common practice is not to leave the patient's blood with the patient. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm a lay person. I, uh, you know, I have a Juris Doctor degree. I don't have a medical degree, but I think this might have been a message that we don't like you, we don't care for you, or maybe it's just the hospital is so negligent that they lose everyone's blood. And I don't really know if I should trust any of my lab results at this hospital at this point. So, uh, as I said, you would not have believed me Believe it, because I have photo evidence. Here it is. And I don't know what blood they're using, but uh, to that day for my lab work. But you left me with my own blood. Figure that one out, guys. I'm scratching my head. I don't know. Seems to me there's uh, something the hospital needs to work on. Change your policies. That's why they don't like me as a patient. I kind of point these things out. But it's kind of evident when you leave the patient with their own blood that there's something in the hospital doing wrong. That's just me. Okay, so here's my problem with this hospital. Okay, well, you know what? There were only like two people in the lobby. Three, okay. Look, under 10 people, yeah, I made like a little tiny bit of scene because I have been mistreated because of my background and you're trying to shame me. Uh-huh. I get that a lot. It's like, yeah, we got your history. We know who you are. Um, so uh, don't let anybody shame you. Yes, my children were removed from my home uh, back in 2014. Uh, a lot of backstory there. You know what? You just can't like take that one fact and say, hey, that person is evil. Hey, that person is undesirable just because this particular thing happened all right um so be strong um if something like this happens to you and you get a lot of shame i got a lot of shaming when i went on dr phil oh my gosh my twitter account blew up i had to delete it delete all everything i deleted some videos i deleted the entire account so those people who are like she's an attention whore not fucking true at all i could have kept that I don't know, it went up to like, I don't maybe know, 100,000 or certain people uh, watching me. And I was like, it's not worth it. Mm -mm. I'm not an attention whore. All in all, it was an interesting experience with this hospital. Well, I've had some experiences with hospitals and kind of their negligence. But stay tuned. You'll see more, I'm sure. And until next time, guys. Oh. See you soon. <laughs>